Meanwhile, Maryland family just got a little bigger, adopting two teenagers from Ukraine. The 18-year-old girls had quite the journey to America. Fox 5's Nana St. Ubonsu bringing us this story from Frederick County. Basketball for me. Yeah. 18-year-old Tetiana and Anastasia are adjusting well to their new life in Point of Rocks, Maryland. It's been about a month since the twins left Ukraine. They had been evacuated to Poland like yeah. so many others. Phil Lazo and his wife Karen met the girls back in December 2019 when they hosted them for a couple of months. At the time, the girls were orphans who were just visiting. We hadn't been considering adoption until we met them and we felt that God nudged on our hearts to give them a forever family. And that's exactly what they did. But it wasn't an easy process picking up the twins. Going to Eastern Europe during a Russian invasion made things difficult. The region was a target. They're from Odessa, which is in the south. So we were concerned, of course, and we were wondering how we were going to be able to pick them up because we knew that the planes were grounded and and so we just weren't sure how this was going to happen. The couple flew into Warsaw, Poland on July 11th. At the end of the day, the director said, you can leave with them. Mm. And and we did. Huh. And it was it was it was very yeah. surreal. A surreal feeling that was interrupted immediately when the parents realized they had to go back to Ukraine to pick up Anastasia and Tetiana's passports. They got on a late night train to Odessa, not knowing what was ahead of them. We heard an announcement in Ukraine and we didn't know what it was, but we found out later that a missile had actually struck in the region before we arrived. So we saw the smoke yeah. coming up from the missiles. They eventually got their passports and flew home with their daughters on July 18th. But we trusted God. We, we felt did. so confidently we, did. we were going to bring them home. This is a picture of the family when they arrived at Dulles Airport, welcomed by their big brothers. <inaudible> Using her Google Translator, Anastasia tells me that a family is what she always wanted. I'm grateful, God. Thanks for being there. Karen hopes that through their story, others would consider adoption. In Ukraine, the youth who are in the system are on their own after their third year of secondary school, and many of them disappear into human trafficking. And that was probably the big thing mm -hmm. that the, the big thing that spoke to us and that we just didn't want to see that happen to these girls. Even though the girls may be thousands of miles away from their birthplace that is currently at war, they say Ukraine will always be home. I want Ukraine to have peace. Peace in Ukraine. I want everything in Ukraine to be as it was before. Mm -hmm. I want everything to be good in Ukraine so that Russia would never fight anymore did not fight. I want Russia to leave Ukraine because Ukraine is strong. Now, Anastasia and Tetiana tell me right now they want to focus on learning English. But once they have that down, they're interested in starting careers in photography, as you see, music, and even cosmetology. Back to you.